everybody. I hope you are doing good. So for those of you who do not know me, I'm Samin David Lepcha and I'm a cabin crew and I'm also a YouTuber and I make videos on YouTube to help people clear interviews and to clear people's doubts regarding uh, anything about the aviation industry. about how do you maintain a proper posture for the cabin crew interview as requested by you all I decided to make this video because if uh, when I was watching videos on YouTube before becoming a cabin crew this was a topic which I used to search the most so let's get started with it as you can see I've um, worn a formal attire and uh, for your cabin crew interview you can wear this as well this is a t-shirt you can put a blazer on top of it but it's really hot away so I won't do it for the video now it is said that the first impression is the last impression of a person okay so the very first round that is conducted in any airlines interview is the introduction round for some airlines they can it depends actually on the interviewer she can ask you to stand in a semicircle and uh, introduce yourself she'll call around 20 people and she'll ask each one of you all to introduce herself or she can also call 10 people and uh, you know ask them to sit in front of her and uh, introduce themselves so let's start with how do you stand in front of an interviewer the very first thing an interviewer notices in a candidate is the way he or she stands now this tip is for the ladies make sure you stand straight parting your legs apart is not very ladylike hence you may stand with your feet together with one hand placed on the other the proper posture taught to me in my training was maintaining the one o'clock posture when your right feet is at an approximate 75 degrees angle and your left feet is at 90 degrees this is the one o'clock posture ensure while you use your hands you try and keep them closer to your body once you are done speaking, go back to the same posture once again. When you enter a room for the interview, you've got to be conscious about the way you walk. Enter the room with a smile and if you need to stand in front of the interviewer, stand with the standard 1 o'clock posture. If you enter the room and you see a chair to sit, wait for the interviewer to ask you to sit. You may sit with your legs crossed or if you are wearing a skirt, you may sit with your legs together. Your hands can be interlocked or you may place one palm on the other. Sit straight, chin up and don't forget to smile. Now while sitting, ensure you do not take up the entire base of the chair. Take a while, ensure your leg touches the chair before sitting and take your seat gracefully. Now that we've done about how to walk, how to maintain a proper posture and how to maintain a proper posture while standing and sitting in front of the interviewer, let's come to how to maintain a proper posture while talking during the interview or while giving your introduction. Often it happens that uh, we get carried away with whatever we are saying and we often forget what our hands are doing or what our eyes movement says or what our expression is doing. So uh, you need to keep a you know you need to be conscious about that as well i know it is too much to handle because you are nervous there and plus you need to keep in mind whatever you are saying and plus maintain a proper posture that's too much to do but that's what a cabin crew does a cabin crew multitasks so you need to do the same thing in the interview itself while we are talking now that i'm not very formal with you people i often you know make certain hand movements like this my hands are usually like this when you are talking in front of the interviewer your hands should be like this not like this otherwise you end up doing this what i do usually so even i had to be very conscious throughout the interview about this fact that because i use my hands a lot while talking i need to maintain a proper posture of my hands it shouldn't be like this it should be like this so that my point is also kept forward you see how that was done okay and it also looks professional we as humans use a lot of hands while talking so these are certain hand gestures which i could tell you which looks a little professional you can do this okay uh, as in what i want to say is and see this is how you can use your hands or you can keep your hands like this or like this okay also you can keep your hands while, while sitting you can keep your hands like this on your lap for boys also I, I would say this while you're talking your fingers are not gapped and it looks a little more professional like this okay coming to your facial expressions while you're speaking usually it um, 
this actually has it comes out very naturally that when you're speaking you do a lot of shoulder movements like this like uh, why do you want to be a cabin crew so usually i see i've actually noticed people doing this i want to be a cabin crew because so you need to keep a control on your shoulders calm your shoulders let me share an incident of mine when i went for uh, an interview in indigo and uh, i most probably think this is the reason why i got rejected because uh, the the vice president who takes the interview um notices body posture a lot so what i did was samin why do you want to become a cabin crew i want to become a cabin crew because <laughs> can you see what happened with my eyebrows i use my eyebrows a lot while i talk so i had to tell myself don't use your eyebrows too much not a lot of this is not what's happening in the interview so the conclusion here lies is that when you're speaking you need to maintain the professionalism you need to keep a straight face in uh, regards to weird expressions however maintain a smile so it's actually called the smile poker face you should actually just go like i want to be cover a cabin crew because i'm still smiling but there is no eyebrow movement right <laughs> last but not the least is what i would like to mention is please maintain eye contact i've also mentioned this in my previous video uh, about tips to crack interview for vistara i've also mentioned this there when you're speaking to the interviewer please ensure you maintain eye contact eye contact in the sense you do not need to stare into their eyes like this this was scary right <laughs> so uh, what i mean to say is when you are speaking to the interviewer you ensure that you do not look here and there too much once or twice is okay you do not need to be too robotic throughout but you know uh, what i'm talking about is why do you want to join vistara it becomes like i want to join vistara because uh, so there's a lot of thinking going on what you've got to do is i want to join vistara because i've just looked there for a second okay and then come back so maintain eye contact that's very important if you like this video please not forget to hit the thumbs up button please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet you can comment your queries below if you have any queries regarding this video and if missed out if i've missed out any points please do let me know in the comment section as well um you can follow me on instagram the id is mentioned in the description below and you can follow me on facebook as well again mention in the description below thank you i hope you like this video please do let me know what topic should i choose for tomorrow bye bye